Jumpot hit your blindness. Yes. Yes. So he's the real man of God. My dear. Are you telling me the truth or did you go to somewhere else? Somewhere else like where? Amuche, get me the tree and one now. Now, what is it here? Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mama? Yeah. Mama, I'm up on my dobe. What? Why are you? Mama, on my way back from the bush, I went to check on my trap. I saw the dead body of Ikina. I don't know what he did. Hey, Chimu! Hey, God! How come? Hey! What must have killed this young man now? I don't know, Mama. Every day I go to bed and meat keep decreasing. <clears throat> I don't understand. See me? I'm telling you that someone goes to the kitchen every night, dips his hand into the pot and steals some portions of meat. Last night I lost four pieces of meat. And this has been happening ever since I was employed as a cook in this house. But yesterday I decided to count the meat and this morning I discovered that four pieces of meat we are missing. Wait, you mean in this father's house, someone goes to the pot and takes meat? Yes. Ha. Wonders shall never end. <laughs> you, you must be joking. I will report it to Father John Paul. So I will use his spiritual powers to fish the person out. Father who? Father John Paul, of course. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, no problem. You won't understand. <laughs> Don't even bother to understand. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I've told you my own. I'm going to report it to him. 
If that's what you want to do, no problem. No problem. That's how Thomas is it from the pot. What are you talking about? I saw Father John Paul. He stole a clue today. Oh. Have you seen what I've been telling you? Father John Paul is a thief. Can you imagine? The cook was complaining to me that someone has been stealing it from the pot. And I suspect he's the one that has been doing it. Look, there is no need suspecting here. He's a thief. So what do you do? Bishop must hear this. No. Have you forgotten he's the one that is going to write our report after our apostolic work? See, I don't mind. It is better the church hears about this than him being disgraced in the market one day. Disgraced him means disgracing the Holy Mother Church. You are right, but I don't want to be part of this. I will not follow you to the cathedral to report him. Don't worry. I'll go alone. Are you even sure the bishop will believe you? I don't know. I don't. But I have to try first. Let me just go. Okay, no problem if you say so. Father, we don't sleep at night anymore. We hear strange noises. This is the same thing that happened last day before my first child died. I see. There are some strange forces operating in your family. I will come to your home for a family liberation. Thank you, Father. But how much will it cost? Don't worry about the money. After the prayers, whatever you have, you give to the Lord. I will be in your home. The day after tomorrow. Thank you, Father. One more thing. Will your husband grant us permission into his home? My husband is late, Father. I see. May he so rest in perfect peace. Amen. I will be there. It is high time. Darkness is separated from light. You can go now. And may the good Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, thank you Lord of Lords. Thank you. thank you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Thank Father Lord, I thank you. And I command 
by the power of the Spirit, the Lord Jesus, I say every foul spirit in this family, fall out. Every evil spirit, I command you to show yourself. Every foul spirit, every evil spirit, every negative spirit, every spirit of destruction, show yourself. Now, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Who are you? I am the queen of the coast. Jesus. And what is your mission in this family? <laughs> this family shall never know peace. No. I must kill them all. You foul spirit from the marine kingdom, I said, you lie. Because darkness and light have nothing in common. And as such, the children of God and the children of Satan have nothing in common. Now I ask, how many have you killed already? I killed a husband. <laughs> I killed a first child! No. And I must kill them all! No! You lie! You foul spirit from the Barry Kingdom. Now I ask, why do you seek to destroy this family? She! 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 She was one of us when she was small. Mama! But you put took her away from us! I will swore never to allow her have peace. We must kill all our children and make her cry till death. Not where God is still God. Not where God is still on his throne. Not where God is still the creator of this heaven and earth and everything in it. You cannot do such a thing. You lie, you false spirits. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The God who told Moses to touch the Red Sea and parted it for the people of Israel to go through. That is the God I serve. I nothing, absolutely nothing, not even the kingdom of the, the kingdom of darkness can stand with this God. I command you, this minute, this hour, this second, this moment, I command you, you foul spirit. Leave this body now! 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 Amen! 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 This, this ring is a covenant between she and the buried kingdom. And I tell you, she is free. Now let us give glory to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. He's a miracle walking God. He's a Alpha. This world 
Take it back to 1951. How possible is that? Dear God, what is all this? said you wanted to see me. I uh, hope you're aware that this is not office hours. Uh, what is it? My lord, it's about father. Father John Paul. Oh, <laughs> Father John Paul. We've heard so much about him. 
how the Lord has been using him to pull down the strongholds of the enemy. We are so proud of him. My Lord, he's a thief. What? Don't understand. I have seen him take people's things. I don't, I don't want him to be disgraced outside. That's why I came here to tell you. Please do something about this, my Lord. Mike, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, sir. That Father John Paul is a thief? Yes, I am. This is strange. You said you're sure. Can you prove it? Yes, I can, my lord. I have seen him. how I would end my life being alone all day even on my sick bed when I have a son no the church can't win me and take my only child I must fight back I must do everything possible to get my son back he must leave the priesthood and come back to me even if he doesn't want to be a Dibia who will take after me let him be his son so that my lineage will not end I must do something about it. My lineage will not end. No. No! No.
Father John Paul. I love you. What is happening? Hope what I am hearing about you are not true. Sincerely, I don't know your lordship. I don't know what is happening to me. Have you ever taken something that belongs to someone else? Yes, your lordship. Have you prayed about it? Ever since I became a priest, your lordship, I I have prayed earnestly, fasted, fervently, all to no avail. This is strange. But does it mean that you do this unintentionally or what? Your Lordship, I can tell. I can tell you, Lordship. John hands in prayer, the good Lord we serve will vindicate you. Father, did you know? Did you, did you, did you know I was the one who stole your laptop? Mary. Yes, Father. I'm very sorry, Father. I do go at night to the kitchen to steal meat from the pot. <laughs> What do we call this? I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know what the cause is, Father. And when I steal these things, returning them is a problem. I regret ever doing them, but I find it so difficult to return them. Father, how will it sound? How will it sound to the people that Powerful Father John Paul is also a thief. It's okay. Uh, stand up, let us pray. Your son, in repentance and confession, have mercy on him, I will start him back so that he will control the ministry you have been trusted in for his hand. Forgive him in every way. As you can see, I have not stepped my feet outside this compound for the past three days. You know, she warned me now that if I should leave, that I would die. And my dear, I don't want to die. I'm scared. <laughs> Mama. Ah, what she meant was only for that day. She didn't mean it was a continuous process now. I mean, if you go out now, nothing is going to happen to you. Hmm. Look at her, Ma, 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 Look, anybody that she wants about a thing and the person disobeys, the person will end up dying. My dear, so she has warned me and I don't want to die. So let me just be stuck here. Fugono. Mom, you are taking this thing so far. Mazia Gwan and Ikena, their case is different now. They didn't listen to her, they disobeyed her. As long as you listen to her and you obeyed her and you stayed at home the day she has to stay at home, I believe if you step out now, nothing is going to happen to you, you'll be fine. Ah, okay. That is not even the case. Eh? This is that, uh, this uh, Father John Paul, I heard about him. 
I am thinking of going to invite him to come and pray for her now hmm? and also for my family. Yes, my mother is very true because I, 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 I've heard about him before. I heard that he's a very, very powerful man of God. Mm -hmm. I believe once he steps his feet into this compound, how many things will happen? If he just sees a much and prays for her like this, I believe that she's going to be fine. I think Say, that means I'll go there tomorrow. I'll go and invite him so that he will know what the problem is. Because I got him also so long, 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 but the thing is that she behaves so strange. Whenever she predicts death too, ends up dying. Could you believe that? Three days ago, she asked me not to leave the house. And since then, I've been stuck at home. I'm scared of dying, Father. I don't, I don't want to die. Please help me. Which village are you from? Uruago. Uruago. I shall come to your family house for a family prayer a day after tomorrow. But did you say a day after tomorrow? A day after tomorrow is too far. Father, it's like, it's like you don't understand the issue at hand now. But I don't, I, that means I can't go home because if you can't go with me now, I can't go home. Father, I'm scared of dying. The issue is that she has not even talked to me since then. Hmm. The Bible says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you with my righteous right hand. Well then, let me get prepared. Let us go together. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I see you in my dreams and I believe that the good Lord has a reason for bringing me to you today. Chukwe Buka, the son of Okabwe, the grandson of Chukuma. I see the past, the present and future. I know you more than you know yourself. Every creation of the Creator has a reason for existing, and every meeting has a purpose. Today we meet for a purpose. You speak in heavy words, young lady. Why don't you tell me the reasons for this meeting? I know you too well, Father. Apart from being a very powerful man of God, you are also an addicted thief. Um, how did you do about this? Pretending the past doesn't exist is as bad as living in it. Now let me tell you the cause of this sinful act. Your grandfather when he was young did something in 1951.
Mmm, hmm, hmm. I'm a long guy, Hey! Why am I? 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 Why I have warned you several, not to die, hey, Chukuma. Don't take what does not belong to you, Chukuma. You will kill yourself one day. Oh. You will kill yourself, oh, Chukuma. Hey! Mama! Mama! Hey! Mama! Obuna, but I'm going one. Can you Hey, Chukuma! You see this, Abata? Chukuma! I'm not taking it back. Why don't you take it to Boga to Boga? Man, I'm not going to go to Boga. Hey! Hey! Chukuma! Village, and you are here with the goat, Chukwoma. See, hey. see, Mama. I have told you to leave me alone in this village. Let me enjoy my life. Hey. Enjoy your life. You will have Chukwoma. Okay, now, ah, Mama. Oh. You see, I'm going to the village now to tell one, Mama, that you are the you are we are goat. You will see it. Hey. Right. See, Mama. Hey. If you like, go and tell the whole village. I don't care. You see this goat. I am going to cook it and eat it. You, I'm not going to give you self. Hey, hey, somebody's good. You're going to cook it and cook, cook it and cook it and eat it. I must cook it pepper soup. You are going to cook it. Ah, cook it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm very hungry. Eh? Leave it for me. It belongs to me. I told you I'm very hungry. Leave this yam for me. Give you which yam. Get out! Oh, this boy! This boy! This boy! Chukuma! Chukuma! Chukuma, Chukuma, I call you today with this sun from today. Oh, you may try. Oh, you may try from generation to generation. We continue stealing. Until, until this year, get back to me. Hey, hey, 
What for the old woman cost him and all his male offspring to continue to steal until her two bar of yam is returned to her? You are his third generation and the curse is on you. It's all now beginning to make sense to me. Is that the reason you appear to me in my dream with a tuba of yam that I should take it back to 1951? Our Creator loves you so much and He wants you to be free from your problems. That is why He's always showing you the solution to your problem each time you pray to Him. Well then, but my father is not a thief. Your father, Okabo, is also a thief. Do you remember what happened one day when you were still very young? Do you remember the day he ran into the compound with a fowl? After you. Shut up! Shut up! Come on, go and give the pay! Sorry, Papa. Papa, but where did you get this towel from? Shut up! I said, come on, go and do something for me, idiot! He stole the fowl. Your father is still stealing up till now. But he uses his dark magic powers to protect himself. He doesn't even know what's happening to him. So what do I do to break this curse? The curse can only be broken when the tuba of yam is returned to Mba for the old woman. For crying out loud, Mba for the old woman, I would have been dead by now. Yes, she is dead. But you can locate any of her offspring to take you to her grave. And how do you suggest we locate this offspring? Let's hit the road to your village. Our creator assures the way. Well, uh, you have to accompany me. Uh, let me inform your brother. Madam! Madam! Yes, Father. No, oh, Madam, may the good Lord bless you. Um, I'm very sorry your daughter here. I would want her to accompany me to somewhere. Oh, okay, Father. That won't be a problem. Thank you very much. Shall we? Please go to your house. I brought the father to provide a solution to her problem. And now she's the one prophesying to the father. 
Okay, no problem. Only God knows what she has told Father. I'll be here waiting for them. to this house. Is this the family house of Pazi OKK? The son of Obafo? Yes, yes. Yes. Well, thanks be to God. Um, let us sit. We have a lot to talk about. You can sit. That was how it all happened. Father, this your story sounds strange. I'm the only one left in this compound. All my sisters are married. I'm the only son of Mazio Keke. Father, now tell me, what do you want me to do? Well, in all honesty, I would want you to show us uh, the graveside of your late grandmother, Wafu. Show us where she was buried. Yes, please. Show us the grave. I can remember vividly well that my late father told me that his own mother, Mbafu, my own grandmother, was buried at the back of this compound. Yes. Come on, let me go and show you her grave. Bafo. My name is Chukwe Buka, the son of Okabwe, the grandson of Chukuma, who stole from you in 1951. I am here standing on behalf of my grandfather Chukuma, who stole this tuba of yam from you, causing you so much pains and suffering. I am here to return this year. Please forgive him. Mbafo, I beg you to forgive him and lift the curse you placed on him and all his male offsprings. I beg you to forgive him. I come here with a clean heart and clean spirit. I beg you, Mbafo, please forgive him. is done. Come on, let's go. This world is full of mysteries. Most things that happen we cannot tell. 
This life is full of misery. If we ask, Your bill of events help that we sincerely do appreciate. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. Thank well, you, brother. Yes, we should be on our way now. to be alive and see you step your feet into this compound. Power of spoken words. the native doctor. Yes. That's my father. He's your father? That's my father. From Umudim? You are correct. Hell, hell. Hey. What is it, father? Amuche, he's your real father. How? How? When 
I got married to my late husband. We lived for five years without having any child. Then my husband became very angry with me and refused to eat anything I cooked. I've told you. I've told you. <clears throat> Listen to me. Listen to me. Stop this in my of a thing. Stop it. I am giving you one year. One year. If you did not give me a child, then be ready to go. Hey, nah, please. Nah. I cannot live with my fellow man in the name of marriage. It's not possible. Nah, please now. Nah. Eh, please. I'm not God that gives children. Nah, don't do this. Nah, please. I told you. One year. One year. I will not say it again. Nah, please now. I'm, I'm not God that gives children. Nah. Now you're Kabwe. You know you are the great Dibia. Wise one. Please help me. Wise one, I need a child. Ever since I got married to my husband, I've not had any child. And I'm at the verge of losing my home. Now please do anything possible. Anything at all for me to have my own child, please. Now you help me. Did you say anything possible? I should do anything possible. Anything possible at all. I just want to have my own child. Yeah. Anything possible. Anything possible. Now I can have my own child. In the next one month. <laughs> May the gods bless you. Yes, uh, I must surely come back to testify. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, come back. Um, like, uh, can I go? Uh, no, no, you have to wait for the next day. Wait for the next five minutes. Okay. Eh? Okay. So that the, the next day go down before I start going. Eh? Okay. Eh? Okay, okay. Let, let me fix it. My anything possible. When I woke up, I realized he had slept with me. Then two months later, I discovered I was pregnant. After nine months, I gave birth to Amuchi. Then two years later, 
I got pregnant again and gave birth to my son, Eke Mezi. So you see, Father John Paul here is your brother. Today is a day of great revelations. Many secrets have been unveiled today. Both of you came from the lineage of great native doctors. Blessed by Osebo Rua. That is why you possess such great powers of healing and prophecy. May the name of God be praised now and forever. Amen. This world is full of mystery.